especially to your wonderful kids who are celebrating this Holy Mass from your homes. Parents, thank you for letting the kids celebrate this school Mass on this Thursday while they are having digital learning experience. This also is an experience in our spiritual communion. So let us pray together. Let us put all distractions aside and focus on Jesus, on this altar, in this Eucharist, in this church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Beloved children of God, brothers and sisters, friends, let us call to mind our sins this Easter octave as we celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on and earth, earth peace to the people of good goodwill. Will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O oh God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Let's listen to the scripture reading. A reading from Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and to John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them and in the portico called Solomon's portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people, you children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, and the God of our fathers has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the holy and the righteous one and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, 
This man whom you see and know, his name has been made strong, and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance just as your leaders did, but God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of prophets and his Christ that he would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted that your sins may be wiped away and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, a prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days, you are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, in your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the path of the seas. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they were and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled and why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet while they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? And 
and they gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their, hand, their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, wonderful students, I hope all of you are staying safe and healthy. I want to wish all of you a happy Easter week. This is the Easter octave, eight days of Easter. Really time to celebrate as a family. And I know we are staying in a house, we are staying, staying safe, and we are being nice to each other, right? Christ-like, safe, responsible, respectful. Those are the challenging four things right now for you. I know it. they're for all of us, for all of us. Not only for kids, but for parents, for elders, for seniors, for retired people. This is a challenge to really be Christ-like in every situation. But Christ brings us joy with Easter. Let us remember that. Christ brings us joy with Easter celebrations. So think about that beautiful story we hear in today's first reading that continues from where it started yesterday. This young man, grown up man now, who is lame, who cannot walk. From birth he has been that way. Think about the pain his family, his parents, he himself went through suffering this disability from birth. They were probably asking God question, why did this happen to our family? Right? Every day, probably someone took him there and placed him at the temple gate at Solomon's portico. He's been there for many years, and many people have watched him being there and begging for alms for years. What a humiliation. Yet he kept doing his thing. And then, you know, Peter and John walks that way. And he does the same thing. He's up there that morning and resurrection of Jesus. No idea, right? He's in his routine life, staying at the temple gate and asking for alms. That's what he did. And Peter and John walks up and he cries out and asks for alms. And Peter and John, Peter says, well, listen now, look at me. And he was probably happy, hoping that this man would give him some money, right? Some alms that he could really use for himself. But Peter says, silver and gold I have none, but in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. In the name of Jesus, get up and walk. Think about this young man who was a kid who couldn't children. He couldn't play like you. He couldn't run like you. He couldn't do things that when we have normal health, we can do. There are some kids like this lame man who are born that way or who have this deformity or this uh, uh, disability, if I may say, and they they make the best of their lives too. And 
not grumpy, they're not complaining. You know, so we are blessed with good health. Think about this kid when he was a child. Think about him when he was a teenager. He couldn't have normal funds that teenagers did. Probably he was at the temple gate asking for alms. That's all he did. Think about when he was grown up as a young adult. You know, scripture doesn't say whether he was a married man or a single man. You know, if he was married, think about the the joy that his wife had in serving him and taking care of him and him taking care of the family in his own limited ways but beautiful ways. And then in the name of Jesus he gets up and he leaps for joy and that's what Easter is about. That's what hope is about. You know, while we are hunkered down, while we feel terrible about these days, while we question God and question authorities and question everyone else, and we ask God, why did you let this happen? Well, God gives humanity after his creation right from Adam and Eve. Think about it. God gave them the commandment, but he gave them freedom to live by those commandments and find joy, find peace, find happiness. But they broke the commandment, right? And then they suffered consequence because of their actions, right? God did not, you know, impose that upon them. He just commanded them to love God and love your neighbor. Think about Jesus. God let the natural course of action take place. He could have destroyed Pilate. He could have destroyed all the soldiers. He could have saved his son in an instance of a word. All of those people could have been destroyed. Does God do that? He does not do that. He lets the natural course of action take place. And we see the passion of Christ especially that movie, The Passion of the Christ by Mel Gibson, so much of pain, so much of suffering, that those excruciating pain that Jesus suffers, the flesh torn, right? And the Father God is not moved with pity for his son when he cries out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me or abandoned me? And he dies in the cross. all this was over, guess what happened? When Jesus was laid in the tomb in the garden, by the power of God, Jesus rose from the dead. And that's what we are celebrating now. The Easter joy, right? The Easter joy that Jesus Christ has brought to us. While we might, it might seem like being in the graves right now, not certain about today, tomorrow, and the future, your parents about your jobs, you know, and how to provide for family, your children about, you know, how to really work hard and be respectful, you know, responsible, you know, children, teenagers, youth, and Christ-like in your situation, and not able to get out, to play with the friends, you know, get your coaching, you know, how to sure to get sharper in your basketball or other sports or education or spiritual life. You cannot come to church. I feel terrible about that, and I'm sure you feel terrible about it. But God has a plan. God is, did not impose. He did not put this virus into this world. No. God does not wish any harm to any of us. He so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, just like we just said. And how Jesus, through accepting the will of the Father, took upon himself all our pain, all our suffering, all our sinfulness, died on the cross, but the Father God raised him. Father God raised him. So also in our situation that we're facing right now, let us cast our eyes on God. 
Let us cast our eyes on Jesus. Let us stay focused as a family. Let us pray more than we have ever done. Let us dust off all the dust on our Bibles and prayer books and open them and pray as a family. Pray as a family. Pray to God who loves us. Even in this situation, he walks with us. He talks to us. He suffers with us. But through all this, God will save us. He will dispel this darkness in his own time. He will teach us great lessons from this, and he will come to our aid. He will come to our rescue in amazing ways, and we will look back and say, wow, we never saw the hand of God in this situation. Friends, he works in every situation of our lives. Let us trust him. And let us seek to do his will. Let us always remember in the name of Jesus, this lame man was healed. Let us now, every time, in all situation, call on the name of Jesus for help, and he will hear our cry. Every, at every name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and God. Let that be our confession, let that be our faith, and let that be our devotion to Jesus, our Savior and God. And you can sing with me the song we have sung in the past. It's about this lame man. Peter and John went to pray. They met a lame man on the way. The lame man cried out and asked for some alms, and this is what Peter did say. Silver and gold have I none, but what I have give I to thee. In the name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth, rise up and walk. He was walking and leaping and praising God. Walking and leaping and praising God. In the name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth, rise up and walk. He was walking, leaping, praising God. Walking leaping, praising God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Peter and John went to pray. All together, met a lame man on the way. The lame man cried out and asked for some alms, and this is what Peter did say, silver and gold have I none, but what I have give I to thee. In the name of Jesus Christ, and Christ, rise up and walk. He was leaping and walking and praising God. Yeah, walking and leaping and praising God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. He was walking, leaping, praising God. Walking and leaping and praising God in the name of of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. In the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friends, let's all stand and pray to God for all the intentions that are on our hearts, our minds, and the world.
trusting, hoping, joyful in this Easter season that even this outbreak, this pandemic, God will deliver us from it as we trust in his power. For Holy Father, Pope Francis, and the whole Church of God, that we may be renewed in grace and hope in this blessed Easter octave, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who preach the gospel, that the good news may reach the ears and touch the hearts of people everywhere, especially those whose lives seem hopeless, those in despair, despondency. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the elect and candidates, for those preparing and awaiting full communion with the Church of God through the sacraments, especially Carissa, Dustin, his newborn Brody, Caleb, Anita, her daughters Lily, Summer, Carmen, Malia, Hubbard. We pray for Hubbard, Deborah, Eddie, for all those students who prepare themselves with their families to receive Jesus in communion as we await that day that God will bless all of us with perseverance, wisdom, and peace this Easter time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For leaders of every nation, the task force teams, scientists, doctors, nurses, first responders, police, spiritual leaders, priests, religious, postal services, employees, essential workers in grocery stores, in medical stores, restaurant workers, food delivery services, truck drivers, bus drivers, pilots, and all volunteers, the homeless, the sick, that God will guide, bless, and protect them from harm. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all of us who dwell in fear under the shadow of the pandemic, that hope in resurrection and hope like this lame man's healing took place will lead us all to experience light, comfort, healing, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the sick, those suffering from virus, other illnesses, the lonely and the forgotten, that they may feel the joy of this day, the sister season, through our prayers and our living support, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially from the virus, that they may also share in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I pray especially for the intention of today's Mass for the soul of Kevin Fortune, also those recently deceased, Tonya Gauthier, Jeanette Martineau, William Floyd, JJ Johnson. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those celebrating their birthdays, especially our own Ken Brinicki, on this, the, he celebrated his birthday on this day. We ask God's blessings upon him, upon his mom and dad, and siblings. We also pray for Pope Emeritus Benedict, who celebrates his birthday today. Also, I pray for my priest friends, Father Tony Lopez, Father Luciano, and all those celebrating birth anniversaries, special occasions, for all our teachers, our staff members, our principal, and all teachers who work so hard, and staff members here at St. John's who are working so hard that God will bless them all. Especially we pray 
Rebecca, for Ryan, Corinne, Jaime, Brisa, Mary, our principal, all our teachers and staff, for our volunteers, also remembering Felix, Barbara, volunteers, Ruth Hornick, and other volunteers who come and serve in the sisters, Mark Welters, Cyrus Zamani. Loving God, we place before you these all our petitions and prayers and ask you to grant us peace, hope, and salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. of this word wine may become to share in the divinity of Christ to humble himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Through the wine of the human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Children, pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice to your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, at all times to acclaim you, Lord, but in this time, above all, to loud you, loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts. Host. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petitions through Jesus Christ, your Son, O Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for the Holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her through the whole world, throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis R. Pope, and Alexander Semple, our Bishop, Bishop Pierce Smith, Pope Emeritus Benedict on his birthday, Bishop Emeritus Lasney and Ken, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, our brothers and sisters who are sick and harm, those at the point of dying. 
and all those celebrating the birth anniversary and special occasion, especially Ken, and all gathered here in their homes whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and for all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God living and true in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through, the, through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Amen. We pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect and make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, on the day before he was to suffer. He took bread in his hands and in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven to you, his almighty Father. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take thus all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take thus, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, save us, us Savior of, of the world, world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, O Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this Holy victim, the spotless victim, this bread, holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as you once were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants especially Kevin Fortune, Tony Gauthier, Jeanette Martinant, J.J. Johnson, William Floyd, who have gone before us in the sign, with a sign of hope and all those we lost through COVID-19. And 
and rest in peace of rest and rest in the peace rest in the sleep of peace grant them O Lord we pray and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment light and peace through Christ O Lord amen to us also your servants who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, John the Apostle, Israel, the former trees of Calcutta, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ, O Lord, through whom we continue to make all these good things, O Lord, to sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is, is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, Lord, but in faith for your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other some sign of the risen Lord's peace. Christ's peace. Christ's peace. Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternity.
Let us together pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, Jesus I, believe I believe that you are, you are present, present in the, the most holy sacrament. sacrament. I love, I love you above all things, things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Please stand. Your Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for all eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. All students, homeschooled, public schools, Catholic schools, thank you for joining us this day in this holy mass. We pray for all of you. Stay strong in your faith. Be Christ-like, respectable, responsible, respectful, and safe during this time. And let us pray harder than ever before. I love you. I miss you all. I hope we will all return back and join in praising God in this church. Until then, we pray from our domestic church, which is our home. Our mom, our dad are in God's place for us. So, and you are God's gift to them. So let us pray as a family. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Bow your heads. May Almighty God bless you through the Easter solemnities and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. May he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten son, endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and in exalting, and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Saint Michael, Michael the Archangel, the Archangel defend us in battle. battle. Be our, our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God, God rebuke him, him, we humbly pray. pray. And, and do thou, Prince, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, God thrust, thrust into, into hell Satan and all, all the evil spirits. spirits all about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday, Ken, and all those celebrating their births. Pope Emeritus, Benedict, my friends, Father Luciano, Father Tony, we pray for them all. Have a great birthday. Have a great time. Be safe.